trimmed with red letters and officially weighing 249 and one quarter pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1988. Now, as a professional, he has 39 victories, including 30 knockouts and three world titles. He has two defeats and a draw, all by way of rematch have been changed to victories, making him one of the few men in boxing history to have virtually defeated every man he has ever faced. Ladies and gentlemen, from London, England, presenting the three-time world champion, the linear, legitimate, and universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lenny. I'm sure Lewis is aware of that. He's a pro, and I bet he's done his own work. A few touches of um, Lennox's class there, the way he leans back out of range for a punch without actually moving his feet. Just a nice uh, inbuilt radar, if you like. There's and two good jabs, and he hurts Paulus with a right hand. Paulus down. Ball is all over the place, the guard gone, yeah, the right's getting through, and he's down, and he won't get up from that. A clubbing little right, and he blinked a little bit. The other world champion he's fought is Tony Tucker. We beat him in five rounds, but Lewis here, starting to unload. And Jones in some trouble here in the opening round, and desperate to cover up a right hand, pitches him forward. And Jones already looking severely discouraged. <laughs> Got him with a good left of his own there. Lewis mustn't get too careless, but look at him digging in the punches to body and head. And there's another right that really rocked Jones. And this could be a very quick finish indeed. Clubbing right. Jones desperately trying to cover up. He's pitched forward. And this could be it. He doesn't want to take too many of those, though. Oh, and a left hook. Has Simawelu down, and the African won't want to take too many of them. Lewis red, Daskal blue. Right hand, knocked down, inside 10 seconds. They've got, uh, KO Magazine has Bow, uh, Reddick Bow ranked number 10, Mercer ranked number 12. Oh, boy. That was, Good he's, he's very relaxed in there, isn't he, Spider? Yes, he is. Boy, a big left hook, and that, that hurt AC, and AC went down by a right to the body. He see, really what, damages uh, his opponent absolutely. with that jab. But what the Scotty, what they want to see Lennox do is fight, fight against uh, all the top. See if he can pay off him. Just missing its start. Oh, what a right uppercut. And another one. And a right. And down Williams goes. That was impressive. And a gym workout for Lewis. But he's starting to crash home some quite heavy shots here. Uppercut, body shots. And Dixon having to cover up. I think he's been hurt a little bit. He's reeling. And Lewis is unloading the big bombs now. I think he thinks it's time to get him out of there. He's getting a stamp, breathes heavily. But Lewis here could be on the verge of finishing this off. Another crashing right, and this time Battle says that's enough. He's never been in this deep before, Lewis. Oh, that's a good overhand right. He's down in the opening round against Bone Crusher Smith. Oh, and Lewis gets through again. He's got him. He's got to be down again here, Lewis. Angus to try and explode his bombs, but it's all Lewis, and he's got him again. And now Lewis is looking to close in to finish this, and Bruno is in trouble. Bruno is in big trouble. And Lewis carries on a relentless assault here, pouring on the punishment. These are bad moments for Frank Bruno. Right uppercut, and I think Mickey Burns can... Well, that was a contentious incident in the fight. I thought for a moment there, he was stopping that right uppercut. Lewis here, and Bruno is on the verge of going. He won't take a lot more, and this time, it is stopped. But already, even this early, Lennox has found him with a jab. Oh, and the right hand has got him down. It's just looking marked around the face, and all oh, down he goes again. The weight differential. 
is one stone and three pounds, and he's got him again. And this time Arthur McCanty stopped it. He will not let the count go to ten. Very conceivable offence so far, and unjustifiably as well. And down goes Butler now. Right hand, followed by a stiff left from Lewis. Well, the crowd are not appreciating the finer points here. Once again, Butler gets hit with the right. I thought about going down from it. Well, oh la la. Well, that's a swallow. Sorry, that is a capitulation. Stage by stage, breaking the spirit and resistance. And there's a lot of it. Of course, it is caught here in terrible trouble and it stopped. Oh, it stopped. so far down goes Morrison again after taking a terrible beating Lane's getting very close to a stoppage here you get that sense down goes Morrison again and I wonder if Mills has seen it up got stunned by a right over the top by Lewis good right and left hand by Lewis got out of the deep Goliath Goliath down. Down. and Lewis coming at him he gets a long count essentially but he's got a lot of time to get through here big right by Lewis Goliath is Deep trouble, this is almost over. Delada cannot think in there. He's That's going down it. the drop. Down again. It's over. Can't get him down. Every tick goes by is a tick in Shannon Briggs favor. Yeah, but that wasn't in Shannon Briggs favor. <laughs> Trying to gather himself. Now, when you have an opponent like Briggs, you... and that will be it. Lewis has just hit him with too many right hands, George. Yeah. Bravery. Bravery for which Briggs is going to pay. Well, if you're in New York tonight, you can be proud. You know, this guy has shown, hey, I'm just not a... And that's all. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. Well, you got to have a lot of Vaseline in your mouth when you get in the ring. The first round, not enough lubrication there. You need Vaseline. Lewis lands an uppercut and Grant goes down. Second time, you'll have to work to survive the last minute of round one. Lewis lands a right hand on the top of the head. Grant trying to fire back. Lewis is still got to be For the moment, Lewis looks punched out as he lands another uppercut. Seven! This Eight. time I don't think so. Nine. That's it, Money. That's it. That's it. Der Druck hier für die Zuschauer was zu bieten liegt ja auf Lewis und Volltreffer.
As George Foreman called him, the most American of foreign champions, and certainly this will increase his popularity in America where fans like punchers.